okay, so I'm back with Mars in the 10th house and what more can I say? I said, what more can I say about Mars in the 10th house except for, listen, I don't, it doesn't matter how much the, this couple don't want to be seen, they're being seen. People see y'all. They see you, boo. <laughs> it don't matter. It's going to be very, listen, this is that couple together. It's very hard to cheat on each other because it's going to get exposed. You definitely could be in like a situation. Eventually it's going to get exposed. Okay. The friend of the family of the wife of the husband is going to be somewhere that the, you and the other person is at and seeing you and, and, and like, it's just getting out. The infra, it's just getting out. It's in the 10th house of, of, of Saturn. Mars is falling here. This is why, you know, here with Mars in the 10th house, there could be a conflict of interest. You know, it's like Mars is seeing the 10th house individual. They could, you know, like what they see, they could immediately want to progress on the 10th house individual, but they don't know how to. They could feel stuck every time they try. They could feel like there's something in the way every time they try. Whether it's a situation like on the job or it was a situation to where maybe one of the, the 10th house person could seem like out of their league or maybe even sometimes even below it. You know, it, it, it like the, the 10th house person could be in a position. Now, this is vice versa too. But let's. Just, I'm just going with Mars right now of why Mars would be like, man, there's blocks to pursuing this 10th house individual, like even though there's this attraction there, a very primal physical attraction, don't get me wrong. I don't think this is said enough, you know, and except for Mars, it's not, Mars is not necessarily just looking at the 10th house person like, okay, I'm attracted to this person and I just want to score. You know, I don't use some, terminology from the 70s i'm sorry um but mars is looking at the 10th house person kind of like deeper than that or more they're looking at the 10th house person it's not that this oh well it's more to know about the 10th house person no they see it all before their eyes you know but mars is like attracted to the 10th house person no don't get me wrong mars could be attracted to the 10th house person because of their status as well so, you know, we got a different things playing out, but still none, none, nonetheless, the Mars, Mars is finding 10th house attractive. It doesn't, they're finding them attractive in the problem or not even a problem. It could be a situation where Mars is younger, 10th house is older or vice versa. But the blocks could be, man, 10th house already has a family or dang, you know, 10th house is this doctor or lawyer. Like, look at me. Look at where I work. <laughs> or, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing a job that's not equal to that. So why would we like, why would they be interested in me? And Mars could try to set up a series of events, like series of things. Mars could even be deceitful to the 10th house person initially. Because their only thing is, okay, I'm trying to get the 10th house person for whatever it is that I'm desiring. Okay? And there's blocks there. And you know Mars is going to try to get what Mars wants. The 10th house person can also see Mars, okay, as some form of escape in a way. Like some form of kind of like being able to let loose and... um you know, not be so restricted. Cause this could be the couple that you see in public to like where one, you know, you have that, the one partner that's kind of like mm, fun, flirty, talking to people. And then the other partner that's kind of like, <laughs> you know, you kind of stiff and reserved and people are looking and wondering like, okay, how the heck did they get together? And this is why, because there's other sensory that could be going on, but their one person's Mars is sitting in another person's 10th house or just aspecting it in a way to where um, 
they're pulled towards each other. And when they get involved, it's kind of hard to get out of it. Now, that could be voluntary or involuntary. Because there's always this thickness and this heaviness and this, this, this undercurrent that's going on of seriousness to where Mars knows, Mar, shoot, Mars may have been a player or something or, very, or not really taking relationships that serious, whatever, until they make the 10th house person and the 10th house person can make them want to kind of slow things down. Because this couple could take its time to, kind of, to, to form. Because remember, there's like sometimes blocks, you know, but they can, it can happen very fast too, because let's say this could be these two get together and they, they just met each other and they decide to um, become intimate or whatever. Somebody gets pregnant <laughs> and it's like, dang, now we're together for the next, for the rest of our life. In a way we have to deal with each other because now we have a child or some sort of investment. Like this could be to where they're both on the same job or they're working. It could be like in the same company. It doesn't matter. Something that kind of like ties them together is there. They know each other, like their families know each other or something. It's a generational thing. It's a, an arranged situation. This could be an, and I spoke about an age gap couple already in the ninth house, but this could be that age gap couple as well. See, this is the thing. The 10th house person also could have not really, like they all of a sudden become serious. They're very serious with the Mars person. Like they could want to, you know, commit to the Mars person. You know, the, the 10th house person, you know, utilizes its public image, what it has, what it has access to, what it can do, the support that it can provide and all that is stability. It advertises it to the Mars person under one condition. Like the Mars person has to make a sacrifice to be here, to stay here. Now, like I said, physically, now it could be a thing here. See, they could be, you know, intimately, you know, and passionately, it could be very physical. They could be very physical with each other. And, um, there could be a raw, like a, a raw, passionate s sexual encounter with each other, like encounters that they have with each other that keep them coming back to see each other or wanting to be around each other. When you take the 10th house, see people, they don't get that Saturn is the goat. Some, the 10th house could also be, the Mars person could be like, well, dang, like, I don't know what it is about the 10th house person. I just want to, like, and this could be, they could be interested in, in, in doing this publicly, too. And the 10th house person could be like, I never really had a high sex drive. Like, like, what is it about the Mars person that just turns me on? This is the thing. If it's an age gap sometimes, too, it could be an issue with endurance. <laughs> you know, maybe the Mars person wanting more and the 10th house person's work or something getting in the way, the libido, I don't know, okay? And the Mars person like needing more or wanting to go out to get that attention and that focus or whatever because the 10th the house person could want to be on some type of schedule or want to be more like, wooed or taken serious and don't want to just be like, oh, okay, well, bam, thank you, ma'am. And Mars could just be like, dude, I just, I just need something quick, real quick. Can you get off of work and come home from lunch? You know, that type of stuff is what this couple needs to keep stuff spiced up. But I'm going to tell you something too. It could be a situation though, to where the goat, the 10th house person could feel like they're the ones that's not getting enough because they could really, really want Mars. And Mars could burn out. Not that they do, but I'm saying they could. Well, could you imagine Mars and Capricorn here? Oh, we are Mars and Scorp Scorpio here. This could be like very, they could be very lustful of each other. 
you know, they tend to get into little bickering and stuff like that in public. And this could embarrass like the 10th house person because the 10th house person could be wanting to be seen a certain way. And it could be like, man, Mars is just always acting immature. And the Mars person is like, dude, you always, like 10th house, you always, what you always doing, and like I'm getting tired of it. Like you always trying to stop me from doing what I want to do. You get what I'm saying? But when these two work together, oh my God, they can build something. They can build like a, a, a family or generational business they family, you know, it could like they can, they can build some sort of form of stability, physical stability, that it's hard to move, you know, that can benefit them and their families, you know. So this this is not to be taken lightly. The the ninth, the tenth house, the Mars person could see the tenth house person as somebody to help them, you know, build themselves or put their, their themselves, their energy towards something that is going to benefit them because the 10th house person can definitely do that. The 10th house person can see Mars as a way to also help them build something, you know, or work on something or become something, accomplish something significant. Like they both can help each other and the Mars person can help the 10th house person in their career and the 10th the house person can help the Mars person focus Cause this could be more, they could meet each other doing something long, like a goal that they're working on, some type of career in college, you know, through an organization that they work at, a family, a family acquaintance or something like that. Or, you know, it, it's, it, there's different ways, there's different ways, but here there's always going to be this theme of seriousness or don't even get involved. It's gonna be. It could possibly, you know, it's, it could be. It's gonna create some type of tie. Um, not that you should. No, I'm not scaring y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. So this has been Mars in the tenth house. Let me quit before I'm <laughs> like, oh, it's Halloween. <laughs> Since I'm recording this in October. But anyways, all right. So this has been Mars in the tenth house, Sinistry. I'm gonna fly some light, and I'm gonna be bad. Peace.